Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Fallout 4, my name's Camel, and this video is going to be a guide of how to acquire the unique weapon, the Shish Kebab, a very nostalgic flaming katana. I would recommend that your character is around level 20 or higher before attempting to acquire the Shish Kebab. Now to get the Shish Kebab we need to come to the Sorgas Ironworks, in the zone, the North Central Commonwealth. We can see Diamond City here, and Sorgas Ironworks is all the way to the northeast, right here where my character is currently standing. Standing. Just a warning, the Sorgus Ironworks both inside and out is crawling with the forged men. For the sake of this video, I've gone through and cleared it all out already, but just a heads up, when you do go there, take plenty of ammunition and stim packs. So as soon as we walk through the door, we want to turn left and then right and walk all the way along straight along this catwalk. Once at the end, turn right, go up the stairs, do a 180 to the right and go up the next set of stairs. Once again, do a 180 to the right, go up this set of stairs. Once at the top, turn right and then turn right here along these wooden planks. Just be cautious, the planks can fall down and your character with them. Keep going straight, head all the way over to the wall and turn left, head straight ahead. Walk down these stairs, once at the bottom, turn left, go straight ahead, then turn right. Once at the top of the ramp, turn right again, and we will be in front of the door that leads to the Sorgus Blast Furnace. Just a quick tip before heading in, be sure to equip all of your apparel and armor in your inventory that give a boost to charisma. Once inside the Sorgus Blast Furnace, we will encounter an NPC named Slag. Slag is the very man that wields the Shish Kebab. And just like Elephant Jerky, this fight is very tough. Now we can either take the Shish Kebab, and that's that, or the second method which I would highly recommend. Once killing Slag, you can talk to Jake Finch or get the hollow tape off his body to begin the quest out of the fire. All this requires you to do is take back the shish kebab to Abraham Finch, but don't worry, you'll get a big dose of XP, you will get a bunch of bottle caps, and he will also tell you to keep the shish kebab. So this second method is much more beneficial. So now that we have it, let's take a look at this bad boy. Now I've applied no mods to the shish kebab, I have also reduced all of my character's stats to one. Why have I done this, you ask? With all of my stats as one, specifically strength, which affects the damage of melee weapons, the stats you are seeing on screen is the base stats of the weapon. What this means is it's the lowest stats possible for the shish kebab. So all of these stats can only go up from here. All of my item guides, I will be showing the base stats so that you can compare the stats of every weapon on a level playing field. So with all special skills set at one, with no perk effects applied and no weapon modifications are currently attached to the shish kebab, the shish kebab has a ballistic damage of 14 and an energy damage of 13. Speed is medium, weight is 3, and the value is 200. The standard shish kebab's combination of ballistic damage and energy damage make it a powerful bladed weapon, and it can be outfitted with additional flame jets for a significant boost in damage. So even with base stats, it's a fairly good weapon with plenty and plenty of room for improvement, rendering the shish kebab a potentially incredibly powerful melee weapon. It also has a chance of setting enemies on fire, adding additional energy damage, specifically in the region of fire damage. It's cool to see they brought the shish kebab across from the previous Fallout games. However, this version is new, improved, and much more compact. It's cool they didn't make it craftable and they made the shish kebab unique weapon. It just makes it even more special. Personally, I still think it should be called the Shishka Stab. And that completes the guide for Fallout 4's unique weapon, the Shish Kebab. I hope this guide helped you out, and here's the Shish Kebab in action. I've been Camel, I would like to thank you very much for watching. If you would like to see other Fallout 4 guides, feel free to click the playlist button on screen. That will take you directly to the Fallout 4 guides playlist, where you can browse at your will, or you can check in the description where it will be frequently updated with links to my new Fallout 4 video guides. Once again, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there.